Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Thursday, led by shares in food, beverage and tobacco, insurance and capital goods sectors. On the economic docket, first, we had initial jobless claims rising to 268,000 in the weekend of June 25th. Also, continuing claims in the weekend of June 18th dropping to 2.12 million. We also had Chicago PMI jumping to 56.8 in June and advancers ahead of decliners. 90% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher yesterday. Now, after the market closed, Micron Technology posting third quarter adjusted LPS of $0.08 cents on sales of $2.9 billion. General Mills announcing a voluntary recall of a limited quantity of frozen Beyond Meat food. And Apple in exploratory talks to acquire Tidal, a streaming music service, this reported by Dow Jones, citing those familiar with the matter. Now, Asian markets, they were positive today. The Nikkei up 0.68%. The Hang Seng up 1 and 3 quarters percent. China CSI 300 up 0.01%. And South Korea's Kospi up 0.86%. European markets are rebounding and U.S. futures calling for a soft open. There are no major earnings expected out of the U.S. today, but on the economic Dynamic docket, 9.45 in the morning June, final market U.S. manufacturing PMI, 10 o'clock in the morning sees June ISM manufacturing and ISM prices paid and ISM new orders, while we also have May construction spending at 10 o'clock. Turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 seeing further advance. Even though a continuation of the consolidation cannot be ruled out, its extent should be limited, so long positions above 2060 are favored with targets at 2119 and 2126 in extension. The Nasdaq seeing further advance, long positions above 4345, and the Dow Jones also seeing further advance, preferring long positions above 17,580.